I've got questions, counters, and a wildly unpredictable machine. There's ten thousand pounds up for grabs too, right now, on Tipping Point. <laughs> Welcome to Tipping Point. Let's meet the four players who are hoping to win thousands today. I'm John, a celebrant from Reading. I'm Bex, an amateur golfer from Newcastle. I'm Amy, a call centre trainer from Leicester. And I'm Christine, a retired teacher from Southport. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Points. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready to pay out, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which of course come with a bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, You'll be leaving £20,000 richer. However, do remember, the player with the lowest score at the end of this round will have to leave the game. So keep an eye on the double counters because they could make all the difference. Hands on your buzzers. Here comes your first question. What brass instrument is a person said to be blowing when they boast about their own John? A trumpet. Own accomplishments. Yes, it is. Blowing their own trumpet. You're absolutely right, John. So you get the first correct answer. Would you like to play the first counter? I think I'll pass, OK, please. you're going to pass to? Um, to Christine. Christine! Well, thank you so much. There you go, Christine. <laughs> Sorry, you get Christine. the first counter. Um, drop zone two, please, then. All right, let's have drop zone two, please. Christine. Rapid drop. Settled nicely. Anything going over the top shelf? Yeah, there we go. What about the bottom shelf? Can they get a little squeeze here? Oh! Ooh. Nothing from your first counter, I'm afraid. You've still got two left to play. Next question. Which Britain's Got Talent judge was a member of the girl group Mystique? Amit. Alicia Dixon. Yes, it was Alicia. Uh, would you like to play Amit? Or would you like to pass? I'm going to play. OK, where are you going to go? Drop zone two, please. Let's do it. Fire two up, please. Here we go, Amit. Settled nicely. I think you might get a couple of Christine's danglers that are there. That one there, Pinky Lily. Yes, well done. Four counters for you there, Amit, with your first drop. Nicely done. That's £200. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So you're off the mark with £200. And you've got two counters still to play as well. So good start. Well Thank done. Thank you. Next question. In Olympic swimming, freestyle usually refers to which stroke? John. Front crawl. Correct. Would you like to play or would you like to pass? I think I'll play this time. Drop zone two, please. Drop zone two. Fire it up, please. Settles in a similar spot to a meet, doesn't it? And then, yep, the mystery's over. And then going to go for you here, John. Yes, two counters drop for you into the win zone. We'll give you £100 for those two. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. So it gets you off the mark, John. Got £100 and you've got two counters still to play as well. Right, next question. What familial relation is businesswoman Kylie Jenner to model Kendall Jenner? A meet. Sister. They are sisters, yes. Would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'm going to play again, please. OK, where are you going to go? It's, I'm going to stick with two, please. Bar up two, please. So bring that double down, it'll be good. Get it That's inside. the idea, yeah. Ooh, just held on to it then, didn't it? Might so bring that silver it one. Really. Could still oh, work, though. Well done. The mystery's going forward too. And three counters drop for you there, Amit. Another £150. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to put you on £350. And you've still got that one counter left as well, so nicely done. Right, next question. Held in the House of Commons on a Wednesday, PMQs stands for... Christine. Prime Minister's questions. Yes, indeed. Prime Minister's what? It is questions. Uh, Christine, would you like to play? Yes, I think I will. Where are you going to go? Drop zone two, please, Ben. Right, let's have drop zone two, please. 
get it on the left. There certainly seems like a lot of action there. That could be good. Yes, it could be very nice. If you bring that double forward, it's got to stay on it, though. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, Christine, look. See, it's going to shuffle this time. Hopefully, it can wriggle free. Go on. I don't think it is. I think it's staying there, Christine. Impossibly. Oh, it's down. There we go. So close, Christine. But I'm afraid nothing drops. Okay. So you stay with nothing in the bank. You've got one counter left now. Need to use it wisely. Next question. The traditional headgear known as the Balmoral Bonnet originated in which country of the UK? Amit. Scotland. It is Scotland, yes. Amit, would you like to play your last counter? I will indeed, yes. Where are you going to go? Surprise, surprise, number two, please. Drop so two again. On the left. Hmm. not going to take much. Ooh. Well, that's going to take more than that, I think. Oh, that that's going to ride, ride, I think. I think it might, mightn't it? Yeah, yeah it does. See that coming, sadly, me. <laughs> did. So your ride is not going to give you anything with your last counter into the machine. You have managed to get £350, though, so for the time being, you've used all three counters. You are out. Uh, John, you've got two left. Bex, you've still got all three of yours. Christine, you've got one. Next question for the three of you. The two planets in our solar system, with names that begin with the letter M, are Mars and which, Bex? Mercury. Which other? It is Mercury. Yes, well done, Bex. Now, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'll play, please, Ben. Where are you going to go? Drop zone two. Right, let's have drop zone two, please. I'm waiting patiently. <laughs> let's get your counter in, Bex, when you're ready. Ooh, that's oh, on the yeah. left as well, isn't it? That's done it. Is this the time to pounce? Is anything going over the top shelf? Not sure. Yes. And a little nudge here, Bex. Oh, oh lovely wow. job. Well done. <laughs> Seven counters for you there, Bex. £350. Let's take it and put it into your bank. So you're in joint first place now, and you've still got two counters left as well. It's very nicely done. Next question for John, Bex and Christine. Which Born This Way singer has the nickname Mother Monster? Bex. Lady Gaga. Yes. It is Lady Gaga. Bex, you're absolutely right. So would you like to play again, or would you like to pass this one? I'm going to play, please, Ben. All right. Um, drop Zone 1. All right, we'll have a little go on Drop Zone 1, please. Just roll away. Let's see what happens here, then. Anything going over the top shelf? Yes. Here. Two more out of the machine, Bex. So £100 for you there. Let's take it and put it into your bank, so it's going to put you in the lead on your own now. £450. And you've still got that one counter left as well, so nicely done. Next question for John, Bex and Christine. In Greek mythology, the goddess Athena turned the weaver Arachne into which eight-legged creature? Christine. It's a spider. It is a spider, yes. Now, you've got one counter mm. left here, Christine. Would you like to play it or would you like to pass? I think I might as well just play. You're going to play? Yeah, right. just go for it. Be brave, then, Christine. Absolutely. Where are you going to go? Um, I'll go for drop zone one. All right. Let's we'll see what happens. Fire up one. Oh, that's It's going to stay on its edge. Should be flat, though. So, you weren't convinced this was going to work? No. Are you less convinced now or more convinced? About the same. Oh, there you go. It might do OK. Together. Yeah, well done. Brilliant. Christine, eight across the tipping point with your last one. That's a great shot. £400. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Puts you ahead of a meet and just behind Bex in second place. You've used all three counts now. You've got £400 for the time being. You are out. Uh, just Bex and John left in. Next question for the two of you. Duracell, an energizer. Bex. Battery. Our brands that specialise in making which portable electronic power source? Yes, battery or batteries. Uh, Bex, one mm. last counter for you. Would you like to play or would you like to pass to John? I'm going to play. All right, where are you going to go? Drop zone three, please, Ben. Good shout. Fire up three, please. Let's see what we can do here with your last counter, Bex. Anything out will extend your lead. There you go. Settles nicely. You're going to get enough to get something over the top shell. No, sadly not. 
Just a bit of a split of that one. A little bit on both those columns, not enough on either. So nothing with your final drop. You have got £450, though. So for the time being, Bex, you are out. Uh, John, you've got two counters left. You don't need to use your buzzer, as it's just you. You do need to give the correct answer to both these questions to put these last two counters into the machine, OK, John? Here we go, your first one. In the Oxford English Dictionary, the adjective equine is defined as pertaining to or resembling which animal? Horses. Yes. Horse or horses. Uh, John, where would you like to put this first one? Drop zone three, please. All right, let's have three. OK, John, let's see what we can do here. So your challenge, you need to try and get five counters to catch a meat. Ooh, that's not bad either, is it? Good one. Let's see as it comes through. Is it going to take me? Yeah, there you go. Could be very nice, this. Oh, it's going to keep you waiting, though. Three counters drop across the tipping point. So 150 pounds, John. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to put you on 250 pounds. Is that a little drop there in drop zone one? It hasn't changed anything, though. Right then, John, again, you've got to give me the correct answer to this question to put this last counter into the machine. OK. Here we go. Three words, dear Romeo, and good night indeed is a line from which Shakespearean tragedy? Romeo and Juliet. Yes. Right then, John. You need two counters to catch a meat. What are you thinking? I think it's going to have to be drop zone three again, please. Let's do it. Fire three up, please. Ooh, now, are we going to get anything over the top shelf? I'm not sure. Ooh, the silver one's taking a little nudge that's sliding. It looks pretty steady, John. I think, sadly, your last count has gone into the machine, but nothing's dropped, John, which means we're going to lose you because we've come to the end of the round. And Bex is leading with £450, just ahead of Christine on £400. And Meat has £350. John, I'm so sorry, but with £250, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, John. Not to worry. It's been a great, uh, great day, and I'd like to wish all the other competitors all the very best. Lovely. Thank you, John. So join us after the break. See which of today's three remaining players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Bex and Meat and Christine have all survived to play in round two. In this round, they'll each have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. And as before, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So, Bex, you have a slim lead, but it is important because it means you get to choose. You have the power. Would you like to play first or would you like to ask a Meat or Christine to play? I'm going to play first, please. All right, 30 seconds for you then, Bex. Every time you get a question mark, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, all right? Okay. Had a little ambient drop there, just on drop zone three. Just watch it come forward. It hasn't changed anything, though. 30 seconds for Bex, please. Your time starts now. The Kellogg's Frosty's mascot, Tony, is what species? Tiger. Which... Correct. In a game of eight ball pool, the eight ball is white and which other colour? Black. Correct. Mark Charnock plays the character Marlon Dingle. Class. Emmerdale. A comedy duo is traditionally made up of how many performers? Two. Correct. On which continent is the country of Togo located? Asia. Africa. Which fruit has varieties called Black Oxford and Laxton's Superb? Pear. Apple. Estimated to be worth $80 million, the Fittelsbach Graf is an example of which precious gemstone? I Any ideas? It's a know. diamond. It's a diamond worth $80 million. Imagine the size of that. Uh, you've got three correct answers in there, Bex. Okay. Three counters to get into the machine. So you've got a chance to try and extend your lead. Where would you like to start? Um, drop zone three, please, Ben. Okay, let's have three, please. <laughs> Flips up and down. That'd be nice if it gets flat. Mm -hmm. I think that's bang on it. Yeah, you could get a double shove as well. All right. So your first shove sets them up. Let's see what happens here on the top shelf. Very nicely done, this, Bex. Oh, oh double just stayed in. It's a lovely drop nonetheless. Bex, 12 counter drop with your first one in. Lovely stuff, 600 pounds, really strong start. Uh, you've got two more to go. What do yeah. you fancy doing now? Drop zone two, please, Ben. OK, fire up two, please. Anything 
thing going over the top shelf. Let's have a look. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. Might take out a few on the tipping point there. A little much. Two more drop in. Nicely done. It's 100 pounds for you. Let's add that in. Takes you up to 700 pounds. And one more left then, Bex. What would you like to do with your last one? I'm going to go for drops on two, please, Ben. Yeah, one more hit on two, please. Okay. It was very rapid drop. It could be nice if that black hand comes. Yes, here we go. Take out this little stash here. Oh, wow. Another yeah. lovely drop, Bex. Mm. Another eight across the tipping point. Another 400 pounds. Takes your total to 1,100 pounds. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you on 1,550 pounds. So very nicely done. Thank you. Right then, Christine, you're ahead of a meet. So it's your choice. You can ask a meet to go first or you could play. I think I'll just play then. All right, 30 seconds for Christine, please. Time starts now. According to the title of the popular fairy tale, who has an encounter with the three bears? Goldilocks. Correct. The home jersey of the Brazilian football team is green and which primary colour? Yellow. Correct. Magnetite is a commercially important ore of which metal? Magnesium. Iron. How many sides does an isosceles triangle have? Three. Correct. In the NATO phonetic alphabet, the name of which sport represents the letter G? Golf. Correct. London by the Sea is a nickname given to which resort on the south coast of the UK? Uh, pass. It's Brighton. Oh, yes. Released in 1999. I'm out of time in this one, but released in 1999. The title of the first feature film directed by Sam Mendes is American what? Pie? Beauty. Oh, it wasn't American anyway. Pie. Very different <laughs> film. Very different <laughs> film. Yeah. Four correct answers, Christine. Very nicely okay. done. Okay. Four counts put into the machine. What are you thinking? Well, that double does look very tempting in drop zone three, but there's not much on the top. Um, I think I'll go for drop zone four to start with then. Okay, you've not used it yet. Fire no, up four, please. Just see. Mm. No. Like right. Just needs to go flat. I think you'd be right. But anything coming over here, a little bit lateral. That double could go. It's so close. It's just it? sort of hanging. Isn't it? Just split them. So nothing there, Christine. Three to go, then. Uh, drop some four again, please. Four up, please. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, dropped and skids across. Not quite where we were last time. Should get that mystery down. There we go. And another one. Can we start collecting any money? So two have dropped for you there, Christine. Just keep an eye on it, though, because some others might go. Yep, there's another drop. Oh, and a lovely cluster goes in. In fact, it's 14 across the tipping point there in total. 700 pounds. It's a really, really great drop in the end, wasn't it? And you've still got two more to go as well. I think I'll go for four again. It seems to have been lucky for me. Fire it up, please. Lands down. And then going over the top shelf here. So nothing there, Christine. You've got one more to go, then. OK, let's try for that mystery in drop zone one. Oh, All right. Fire up drop zone one, please. <laughs> oh, it's trying. Oh, it's it's trying. Oh, I think that might ride. Out, yeah. Right, just ride as well. Yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> nothing coming over that top, I don't think. Nothing more to add, though, Christine. £700 Thank isn't you. bad, though. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. That's going to leave you £1,100. Okay. Right, Amit, we come to you. Uh, 30 seconds for Amit, please. The time starts now. According to the common phrase, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw what? Stones. Correct. The Chianti region of Italy traditionally specialises in what colour wine? Red. Correct. In astrology, which of the four classical elements is associated with the star sign Scorpio? Uh, scorpion. Water. The country of Japan is part of which continent? Asia. Correct. To which section of the orchestra does a bassoon belong? Uh, wind. Yes, woodwind. Uh, reader beware, you're in for a scare, was the original tagline for which children's book series? Vino. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been. No, it's Goosebumps. Oh, OK. It's goosebumps. Uh, well done, Amit. You've got four correct answers in there. Four counts put into the machine. Uh, you said the bassoon's in the wind section. I can accept that wind or woodwind. Uh, so well done. Uh, right, you're giving yourself a chance though here, Amit. Um, I'll go for drop zone one. Drop zone one? Yeah, please. Okay, fire up drop zone one, please. Oh, 
behind. Oh, no. oh it's going to ride. It isn't looking great. Is this a waste of a counter? Yep. It is. And that's not going to give you anything. No. Three to go. So I'm going to try for four. Let's go four. Just out of nowhere. Let's go. Before. Okay. Let's fire up four, please. Oh, if it goes that way a bit onto the thing, then maybe. A bit of lateral, could take that bit. double. Oh, you could have the hole on the bottom shelf. Oh. So you put two in now, nothing's come out of me. What are you thinking? I'm going to go three. Light up, drop zone three, please. <laughs> might have to fill a gap first of all. Oh, there you go. You might have needed to do that. I might have needed, yeah, just to fill up the space, but I don't ride, just don't ride. It is down. So it is flat, so you filled up one of the gaps. Last one to try and get something over. Yep. There we go. You've got one more to go, then. It has to be three again, Ben. Fire up three, please. Here we go. Yes. That's... Please don't ride. <laughs> That's looking good if it's flat. It yes. is. So the silver counter comes down. Can we take the double out? Maybe with a few others. Are you going to get some money in this round? Please Ooh, give me some money. money. Should you have done Could this do sooner? Do something. For me, I'm so sorry. You got four correct answers, four counters, but nothing, nothing comes out, out of the machine, which means the scores stay as they were. Bex is leading with £1,550. Christine has £1,100. And me, I'm so sorry. That means with £350, we have found a ticket point. Thank you for playing. Thank you so much. It's been a wonderful day. Thank it's you. It's been really lovely to meet you, mate. So it's Bex and Christine who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Bex and Christine. Uh, very well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put your counter to the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. So, Bex, you're leading, which means you get to choose. Is that the first question? Or would you like to offer it to Christine? I'll take the first question, please. All right, here we go, Bex. What number is reached when the titles of Adele's first three studio albums are added together? So you can play this or you can pass it to Christine. Just had a little ambient drop there. Two counters fell. The double will get put back into the machine, but we'll have to remove the other one. Right, let's go back to the question. Do you know Adele? I've got none of her albums. Okay. Um, and I've got no idea. So I'm going to pass it to Christine. Right, Christine. Have you got any of Adele's albums? No, I'm afraid not either. I don't have any, and I also have absolutely no idea. Maybe they were just one, two, and three. I'll just go for six, please. Six, I think. Yeah. one, two, and three. Why not? Let's see if you're right, Christine. Is the answer six? No, it's 65. Oh. <laughs> 1921 and 25, oh. so they were the ages she was oh, when she course. released yeah. them. Yeah. But, Bex, that works nicely for you because yeah. Christine was wrong. You mm -hmm. get the counter. Drop zone three. All right, fire up three now, please. Amit has set it up very nicely for one of you. Ooh, what do you think? I'm happy that it's flat. It ain't going over. I'm not sure, Ooh. no. It's hanging. It is just hanging there. So, nothing drops. Christine, you get control. Time okay. for your first question. Camelot, New Approach and Shergar have all won which famous horse race? You can play or you can pass. I'm going to play, I think. You're going to go for it? Yeah, Okay. as well. I think it might be the Grand National. Go with the Grand National. All right, you could have passed this, Bex. Oh, no. Do you have any ideas? I would have guessed Grand National. You'd have gone Grand National as well. Yeah. The question is... Were they horses on the flat or horses over the jumps? I think it might have been a derby now. Should you have passed it? Camelot, New Approach and Shergar, have they won the Grand National? No, it's the derby. It's the derby. It's the derby. Yeah. Christine, you've gifted that to Bex. Uh, Bex, you get a counter again now. Jobs on three. Fire up three, please. Yeah. Mm. 
Now, it's not riding, it's down, yeah. it's flat. Wow. Can you get it? Oh, this might go now. It's getting closer and closer. Is it going to drop? Oh, yes, yeah. it is. Well done, Bex. Six counters for you, 300 pounds, which is a nice drop in itself. But of course, the double goes. So we can double it up and give you another 300 pounds. Takes you to 600 in total. Let's take that and put it into your bank. So that does extend your lead significantly. You now have 2,150 pounds to Christine's 1,100. And you keep control as well. Bex, time for your second question. Completed in 1986, Michael Leonard's portrait of Queen Elizabeth II depicts the monarch with a dog of which breed? I'm going to play it, please. OK. Um, I have noticed that they've just got some corgis, so I'm guessing it'll be a corgi. You're going to go with corgi? Christine, yeah. what would you have said? Corgi, definitely. You'd have gone yes. corgi as well. Let's find out. Does it depict the monarch with a corgi? Yeah, of course it does. Nicely done, Bex. Right. Another counter for you here. Um, I think drop zone two. OK, That's drop zone two it is. Bring that double forward as well. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, no. Could have done with that settling. Yeah. Is it going to be flat? No, it is riding. That's a shame. It's just going to slide up and cover that gap. So no damage done there. Right, Christine, we come to you. Time okay. for your second question. Which iconic Harrison Ford character utters the famous line, snakes? Why did it have to be snakes? I'll play that one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's Indiana Jones. You're going with then. Indiana Jones. Yeah. Bex, would you have known? No. You wouldn't have known that one. Let's see if you're <laughs> right then, Christine. Is the answer Indiana Jones? Of course it is. Nicely done, Christine. Thank you. Right, what are your thoughts here? Four looks quite good, and that's been lucky for me, so I think I'll go drop zone four. OK, fire up four, please. This looks flat. Settled very centrally. Maybe. Let's, let's get something over the top shelf. Yeah, there you yeah. go. It's moved into three, really. It did. And just has a little shuffle on the shelf. But nothing goes, unfortunately, Christine. So control passes back to Bex. Time for your third and final question. Which is the only Commonwealth nation located on the South American continent? I've got no idea, so I'm going to have to pass it to Christine. Right, we need to steal this one, Christine, oh, if we can. Um, I just don't know either. This is really hard. Um, so the South American continent, we've got Brazil, Peru, Argentina, Falkland Islands. Are they around there? I, I, I think I'll have to go for the Falkland Islands. Go with the Falklands? I, I, Falklands, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, though. Is it the right answer? Let's see. Is it the Falklands? It's not. It's Guyana. Oh, I wouldn't Guyana. know. No. Bex, that works nicely for you, because Christine is wrong. You get the counter. Where do you want to put okay. it? I'm going to go with drop zone four. Drop zone four, please? Yeah. Very nicely. And then going over here, yeah, a couple. Uh, can we add to your money at the moment? Yes, you can. Well done. Four counters across the tipping point. £200 for you, Bex. Let's take it and put it into your bank. That takes you £2,350. And Christine, you get control. Time for your third and final okay, question. Thank you. Which Conservative MP's sixth child is called Sixtus Dominic Boniface Christopher? I have absolutely no idea, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to pass that. <laughs> right, Vince, we're looking for Conservative MPs. I've been revising my Prime Ministers. I don't even know if they're Conservative or not. Um, something like Margaret Thatcher, mm -hmm. I mean, David Cameron, Tony Blair, Gordon Brown. I'm going to just go with Margaret Thatcher. You've got to give me one. Uh, Christine? Well, I don't think Margaret Thatcher had six children, but I'm not sure. I probably would have gone David Cameron. But... David Cameron? Well, I okay. don't know. Let's find out if you are right, Bex. Do you steal this counter? Is the answer Margaret Thatcher? It's not Margaret Thatcher. It's Jacob Rees-Mogg. Oh. Never heard of him. Jacob yeah. Rees-Mogg. Uh, Christine, you get the counter because Bex was wrong. It was okay. a big pass in the end. Uh, where would you like to put it? I think it's going to have to be drop zone one to try and get that mystery out. Fire up drop zone one, please. Oh. 
sure. I'm not really right. It's, it's flat. It's flat, yeah. but it's not really near the mystery. A bit of lateral might help us here. Yeah. There you go. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yes, it might work nicely. Go on with the... Oh, it's skirting round it. <laughs> Doesn't want to play. Got close, but just avoided it. Three counts did drop for you, Christine. Thank it's you. not going to be enough, though. £150 cost of the tipping point. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. That means at the end of the round, with £2,350, very well played, Bex. You, you are today's winner. You've played a great game. Congratulations to you. Christine, I'm so sorry, but that does mean with £1,250, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Thank you. It's been an absolutely wonderful experience. Thanks, good Christine. luck, Bex. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. So, Bex, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. It's a little bit bigger than all the others, but this one is so much better. So if you can get it out again, you're going to go home with £10,000. OK. Can Bex master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Bex is our winner today and has managed to get £2,350. Very nicely done. I, know, I can't believe it. You've played a great game, Bex, and that's a really nice amount of money. We'd love to send you home with our jackpot today, though. If we were to get that out, Bex, mm -hmm. uh, what would you like to do with the money? Oh. I absolutely love roller coasters, but I've got my eyes set on Cedar Point, which is in Ohio. Right. And that's known for being the roller coaster capital of the world. Oh, really? So that would be amazing to go there. Well, look, fingers crossed we get that jackpot counter out, because that'd be a really, really great way, mm -hmm. a really good, fun way of celebrating your victory. So best Definitely. of luck, Bex. Thank you very much. It's time to find out whether Bex is going to win our jackpot in a few moments. I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. Okay. If you want to go home with £10,000, just need to get it out again. If you want to go home with £20,000, see if you can get it to drop with the double counter mm. on the bottom shelf of Drop Zone 2. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. Which mm. category you choose to play one, two or three counts into the machine. The more you play for, the question's going to be, the more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. OK. All right? Yeah. So we need to put the precious jackpot counter into the machine. Bex, mm -hmm. what are your thoughts? Um, the double counter is very tempting. However, I think I'm going to go for drop zone four. OK. Fire up four, please. When you're ready, Bex, let's get it in there. OK. That was quick. Doesn't hang around, does it? No. It gets down and it gets settled. Let's see. There's a lot on the bottom shelf here as well. Could maybe take a little bit of money to get us started. It's all yours. It doesn't matter when it goes. Take a lovely job to get started. <laughs> yeah. 11 across the tipping point. So we can give you £550 straight off the bat. Amazing. Not bad, is it? Mm -hmm. 2900 And you've just put your jackpot counter just towards the left of centre on drop zone four. Right, let's have a look at your categories then. Okay. Uh, Bex, this is what we have for you. Children's literature, human body, food and drink, film, history and music. You can okay. play them in any order you like, so where do you want to start? Yeah. And we'll start at the top, children's literature for three, please. Right. Ben. Children's literature for three to get us started, please. The Further Adventures of the Queen Mum and Tim the Tiny Horse are books by which comedian? Harry Hill, Alan Davis or Jack D? OK. For some reason, I don't think Alan Davies would be doing books like that. OK. Um, Jack D. Mm, so difficult. I think I'm going to just go with my gut instinct, which was Harry Hill. Harry Hill? Yeah. OK, we're going to light up Harry Hill, please. Let's find out. Were they written by Harry Hill? Yeah, they were. Yeah, it's a great. It's a great start. Well Thanks. done, Bex. Lovely. Three cameras. Drop some four. Yeah, drop some four. Light it up. Okay. Can I get the mystery? Close. Yes, you're right. It could do. None of the mysteries have come out yet, and they've been sitting on the edge for a long time. Is it going to go now? Let's hope so. Yeah, well done. Three counts has got a tipping point. £150 for those three. It takes us up to £3,050. Let's have a look at the prize you've won. It is a flight simulator experience, courtesy of virtual aerospace. Amazing. Absolutely lovely. Yeah. Two more to go in. Yeah. Jobs on four? Jobs on four, please, Ben, yeah. Light it up. <laughs> yes, 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 stop. Yeah, that's it, Ben. Yeah. Just had that little drop on the bottom shelf. Not going to change anything there, but the jackpot's moved. Might take the little ones right on the edge, over. Yes, another three go in. Another £150. Mm -hmm. The money goes up again, up to 3200 And your jackpot's on the edge of the top shelf. Mm -hmm. One more to go in as well. Yeah, and drop some four. Four up, please. Oh, oh yeah. Is 
stay on it. Can get it? Oh, bags, yes! Three counts have gone in. We are on the bottom shelf. Yeah. One count has dropped in. Let's give you another 50 pounds. 3,250 pounds. What a belting start. Yeah, Look at that. can't believe it. Yeah, Dad, please. Lovely stuff. Right, let's go back to the categories then. So I did uh, my undergraduate degree in sports science. So I may have just piled the pressure on there, but I'm going to do human <laughs> body for three. Let's do it. Human body for three. What is the name of the outer layer of a strand of human hair? Cuticle, cortex, or medulla? I'm thinking mm -hmm. cuticle. Medulla has to do with the brain. Um, could be completely wrong, but medulla oblongata rings a bell somewhere. Medulla oblongata? Yeah. I think it's something to do with the brain. OK. I'm going to go with my gut again, Ben, and say cuticle. Cuticle? Yeah. All right, we're going cuticle, please. The outer layer of a strand of human hair, is it a cuticle? It is? Oh, OK. Uh, well done. Absolutely Thank right. You. Great stuff. Three counters. Drop zone four. Yes, please. Let's do it. Fire up four, please. Get on the left hand side. Yeah. Um, Might need to tidy that shelf up. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's another good shot. Might not go over this time, but it's going to line up nicely. Mm -hmm. Great hit, that. Drop zone four again. Yes, please. Go on, Bex. Fire up, please. So that might move that silver one over. Mm -hmm. And a few here. Yeah. Two counters drop in. So 100 pounds goes into the machine. 3,350 quid. And one more to go in. Drop some four, please. Four up, please. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Didn't want to get over, did it? No. Going to fill the shelf up. Not to worry though, we're still in really great shape. We're lined up very nicely, and the money's up at three thousand three hundred fifty pounds. Going along brilliantly here, Bex. Back to the categories. Um, yep, yeah, food and drink for three. Food and drink for three, please. Spanakopita is a Greek dish traditionally made with which type of pastry? Phyllo pastry, puff pastry, or flaky pastry. Puff pastry you'd have on like the top of a pie, mm -hmm. which raises. Um, I think I would rule that one out. OK. I'm, I'm imagining that it looks something like salmon en croute, which could be completely wrong. And I would imagine that that is a phyllo pastry. So I'm going to go with that. Phyllo? Yeah. All right, we're going phyllo then. Spanakopita, is it made with phyllo pastry? Yes! <laughs> It's a type of Greek pie and it's filled with spinach and feta and it's absolutely mm. delicious. Oh, and you're right. I'll have to get myself some. Do it. Yeah. Delicious. Right, three counters as well. Mm -hmm. Drop zone four. Yes, please. Fire it up. Okay. All gone. Oh, a bit too far, maybe. Yeah. Let's see what happens to that silver counter. Yes, that squeezes mm -hmm. over. Get a little nudge on it. Mm. Some money there. Mm. Okay, drop zone four again. Yes, please. Load it up. It's a quick one. It was rapid, threw itself down. I don't think it's going to help us just mm. yet. No, mm. one more to go. Drop zone four. Load it up, please. Counter going to have to do some damage for us. Might take out some of the tipping point. Three counters drop in. Another £150. The money goes up nicely. Up to £3,500. Didn't mm -hmm. get on the jackpot counter. No. It's agonizingly close. Let's go back to the categories. We're halfway. OK, I'm going to take film three, please. Film three. In which film does Brad Pitt play the character Billy Bean, the manager of the Oakland Athletics baseball team? Fury, Moneyball, or the Tree of Life? I'm going to rule out Fury. OK. Um, so, obviously, in, in the Oakland, an oak is a type of tree. have got the Tree of Life there. Mm hmm So, obviously, Moneyball, like you've got your ball and baseball. I'm going to go 
a money ball. Money ball? Yeah. Should you light it up? Yeah. We're going with money ball. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer money ball? Yes, it is. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, well done. Absolutely Thank right. You. Great stuff. Three counters. Drop zone four. Yes, please. Fire it up. Right, come on. Right. On the left. Stop, 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 stop now. Yeah, freeze it up. It's going to squeeze. Is it going to bring that silver counter down? That's what we want. That's what we want. Yeah. yeah. And you come right at that jackpot. Stay on it. Stay on it. Oh. Two more. Drop some four, please. Four up, please. And that silver one. Second one in. Right. Next. Go over, go over. Mm. That black counter might help. It might help if it drops. Come this way now. Can you get a squeeze over there? Yes. All right. We'll take those five. £250 goes in. Up to £3,750. One more to go. OK, drop some four, please. Four, please. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, get out. Oh, oh. That's going to be... Oh, it's flat. Oh, yeah. That might work now. It's lucky. That'll spit the silver and black one, and that could push that silver one over. Go on! Oh. <laughs> mm. It's going in the right direction, mm -hmm. but you've got to keep working for it, Bex. Back to the categories. We have history and music. Um, I'll do history for three, please. History for three. How many times did NASA's manned Apollo missions land on the moon? Five, six, or seven? OK, I know the first one was in 1969 right. with Neil Armstrong. After that, I've got no idea. Oh, no. <laughs> so, OK. Five, six, seven. It's just going to have to be a complete guess. OK. I'm going to say five. Five? Yeah. Should we light it up? Yes, OK, please. we're going with five. Let's find out. Were there five manned missions to the moon? Six. Oh, it was right. six. Nelly went down the middle. Not to worry. First stumble we've had. We can still do this. We've got one yeah. more to go. Okay. Which is music. Okay, I'll take music for three. Please. Yeah, music for three. Which of these artists won the BBC Sound of 2019 award? King, Princess, Octavian, or Slow Tie? Oh dear. Heard of any of them? I've heard of Octavian. Right. Um, King, Princess, no. Slow Tie, no. I'm going to have to just go with the one that I know, okay. which is Octavian. Should we light it up? Yes, please. Go with the one you know, which is Octavian. Let's find out. Is the answer Octavian? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Oh. Just get this jackpot a little bit further forward and we can send you home with 10 grand, OK? OK. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Fire it up. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Yes. Right, move the silver one straight forward, get right up behind the jackpot, and squeeze it up to the tipping point. Yes. 50 pounds drops in. Let's give you that. Takes you to 3,800. Two more to go. Drop some four. Four again, please. Yeah. Just where the last one landed. Yeah. Oh, go on now, Bex. Is that the one? You've slammed this drive right down the centre of the fairway. <laughs> oh, come on, Bex. Is this your £10,000? Yes! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. You've just done it. You just landed £10,000 into oh our wind God. zone. How does that feel? It just feels like your dream. Like, honestly, I cannot believe it. I really can't. I could actually cry. It's you amazing. can cry. Of course you Thank can you cry. So well much. done. Oh, 10,000 pounds. Tell me what you're going to do with it again. So I'm going to definitely go to Cedar Point, the roller coaster capital of the world. Amazing. It's been my dream to go there for years. So it'll be amazing. Well done, Bex. You've been brilliant. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Congratulations. That's amazing. Thank you.
The machine wasn't giving away much in round one, but the little it did share was enough to give Vex a slim lead. In round two, she ups the charm offensive and won a game-changing 22 counters. More good fortune followed in round three when Vex bagged the double and her place in the end game. Pushing the jackpot counter onto the bottom shelf in just three counters, her golden touch was all that was needed to then push that golden jackpot safely into the win zone. And of course, not only have you got £10,000, you want a flight simulator experience as well. You enjoyed yourself? I've, I've had an absolutely amazing time. Bex, it's been lovely. It's been great fun playing alongside you. And I'm delighted that you're leaving with £10,000. Yeah, I'll it's never amazing. ever forget this. Great stuff. Thank you so much. So Bex is leaving with £10,000. As if this wasn't tense enough, she's off to scare herself senseless on a load of roller coasters. Join us next time when the fate of former players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. Thank you.